but I notice that there is still some solid left. However, it looks very different from the white color solid that I was noticing all this time. It looks yellowish, it looks more granular and it looks very sandy to me. Let us see if anything will happen to that if I add another dropper full of the solvent. Bring it to boil, take it out. I notice that that is not dissolving anymore. So I know I have added enough of the solvent to dissolve our compound. So at this point, what I want to do is mark this level using a wax pencil. Just mark the level of your liquid in this Erlenmeyer flask. Why do I have to mark it? Because when we do hot filtration to remove the color, we don't want, as I said, the solution to be saturated. So how do we remo remove the colored impurities? Remember, we have to add norite to remove colored impurities. Norite is solid charcoal, finely powdered charcoal. I'll show you what it looks like. This is what norite looks like. We want to add norite to remove the colored impurities. However, you should never add any solid to a boiling solution. So you want to bring this down, cool it a little bit and then add norite to it. So we'll take it off from the steam bath. Let's cool that and then we will add norite. How much norite do I want to add? You use a scopula. This is a scopula. The spatula was the small one and this is a combination of spatula and scoop. So it's called a scopula. So you want to add about this much of norite. You know, no fixed amount, generally about this. If you add a whole lot, there's a possibility that the, you may lose some of your crystals because they may remain on norite. All right, let's just, it's not boiling anymore. Now I can add norite to it. So how do I remove norite? Norite would have absorbed the colored impurities, but norite itself is solid. Look at how the solution looks like now. It is black because there is finely suspended norite powder in the solution. So what we want to do is we want to filter it. Remember, now I have almost saturated solution in here. So if I start to filter this solution, not only will we be filtering off norite, but as you filter, because it starts to cool, the crystals will start to form and you will also be filtering off the crystals. So to avoid losing our crystals, we will do hot filtration on a diluted solution. That is the reason why I made that mark before. So now I am going to add an additional 25 milliliters of the solvent. So you can use a graduated cylinder to measure 25 milliliters of the solvent and add 25 milliliters but I am just using an Erlenmeyer flask because this 25 milliliters is approximate. It could be anywhere between 20 and 30 so I have taken about 25 milliliters. I have diluted the solution by adding more solvent and now we will set up what is called hot filtration.